most mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. <laughs> I had this friend once, my closest friend, in fact. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? I never saw him again. Now you say you've heard that the Zabadoo may be holding some human beings captive in his lair? It might mean there's a chance Lyman is alive and being held prisoner by... a monster. It's unbelievable. Lyman has been missing all these years. Everyone thought he was gone for good. And now that, that monster over in Franistan is wearing my hat. Looks better on him than it did on you. The hat I gave Lyman. Do you think your friend could still be alive? Do you think he's being held prisoner by the Zabadoo? I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. John, not knowing what to do about something? Whoa, there's a novelty. Priscilla, Minerva, I'm going to drive you two home. I have to put huh? all my attention on this. Okay, Uncle John. We understand. Hmm. This is a baffling mystery and a matter of life and death. At a moment like this, there's only one thing to do. And of course, some people like mushrooms in their lasagna. Oh, that is so wrong. They take up so much space it could be occupied by sausage. Well, at least I got out of it without those twins dressing me up in some silly outfit. <laughs> Why did I have to say that? Okay, get it over with. Make it look over in the middle. What size you can do here? We should take him to the smart color. He looks adorable. Here, Garfield, see how good you look well, now. You know, they're annoying, but they are right. I do look kind of fabulous. How does he expect me to get my usual 14 hours of sleep if he's going to do that all night? Oh, hey, I know you're thinking about Lyman, but... Uh, could you hold it down a bit? No. <laughs> yeah, huh? on behalf of all your mice, I was about to suggest the same thing. Aww. I've been listening to the whole story about this fellow Lyman and the monster called the... Zabadoo. What? I don't know why they named it that either. You gotta go rescue that poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Go to Franistan? And battle a monster? Hey, why not? I could be a hero like that one I like in the movie. Oh, no. Of course, I'll need to dress like an adventurer. Dear, how do you like my adventurer outfit? Huh? Uh, Garfield, we don't see anything. Come on, use your imaginations. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Call me Muncie Smith, bravest of the brave. I'm off to Franistan to rescue Lyman. Now, how am I gonna get there? <gasps> I know. <laughs> this will be my airplane. Stand back. I'd better make this an airstrip. <laughs> ah, better. Hey, Garfield, <laughs> wait. Take us with you. Why not? <laughs> Hop in. Yes. I am the cha cha cat. I like to dance, although I'm fat. Check. 
Podcast. Mambo. How long will it take us to get to Franistan in this fantasy of yours? I know a shortcut. It's a little out of the way, but it'll get us there fast. I like to dance, although I'm fat. Last sighting of the Zabadoo was right about here. No. All right, we have to find the Zabadoo. I love fantasy sequences. Mm. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Odie! <laughs> Garfield! <laughs> what's going on in here? What? <gasps> Oops, we woke John up. That's my cue to disappear, too. It's so noisy with Odie howling and. I thought I heard an airplane. Boy, I have noisy fantasy sequences. Odie, you look so sad. You've been thinking about Lyman, right? Yeah, me too. I was thinking, you know, there's really nothing we can do. But then I thought, Huh? If there's even a chance Lyman is alive, we have to try and rescue him. Oops. Garfield, are you worried? You know, this could be dangerous. Am I worried? Am I worried? Is this going to be another fantasy sequence? Nope. In that case, yes, I am worried. <laughs> Come on, guys. Liz is going to drive us to the airport. <laughs> what do you got in this thing, Garfield? Snacks. Snacks? You need this many snacks for the trip to Franistan? Come on. Come on. <laughs> what do you mean, Franistan? These are for the trip to the airport. Uh, huh? <laughs> Goodbye. Don't forget to ride. We'll take good care of the house while you're gone. Are we really going to take good care of the house while they're gone? Uh, no. Oh. Party! Life for mice <laughs> is really
area where the Zabadoo lives is about a hundred miles from the airport. Ladies and gentlemen, the pilot is making his approach to Frantistan Airport. Please make sure your tray tables and pussycat are in the upright position. I've arranged for a local guide to drive us there. They say she knows all about this area and all about the Zabadoo. Her name is... Um, Angie. Angie! Angie, wake up! Just stop so I can talk to you. I don't work for you anymore, Dirk. You never told me why you quit. Because you're not exploring and adventuring to help people, or even animals. Oh, again with the animals! You're a you... nasty man, and all you care about is money. Something wrong with money? Buckley, explain it to her. This is Buckley. He has your old job, assisting me. Pleasure to meet you, Angie. Yeah, <clears throat> money is a good thing. I know. I have to go earn some of it. I'm guiding a man named Arbuckle, who's got a lead on the Zabadoo. What's she got against money? I don't know. Maybe I should have paid her <gasps> some. Listen, whoever this Arbuckle yeah. bloke is, if he's got a lead on the Zabadoo, yeah. we need to follow them. <laughs> You must be Mr. Arbuckle. And you must be Angie. And you must be Garfield. And you must be Odie. And I must be hungry. Come on, Odie. <laughs>